Yes, it's the day you've all been waiting for. It's finally back. The Euphoric Bros just posted a teaser trailer for their new chapter. They've been pretty damn consistent this year with their new teaser for chapter 6. Unlike myself and my uploads which hasn't been as consistent, but I promise I'm gonna explain myself. But teaser reaction first, then I'll do some explaining, and then secrets. Alright, Garden of Bun Bun 6 official teaser trailer 2. So the first one was that one with um, Queen Bounce Sally on the ground. So let's see what this one has in store for us. Oop, gotta full screen it. Okay, so this looks familiar. Is that... that's... What is that? Is that looks like a green poop on the side, but I think we know that's Slow Celine's shell. Is... is this the... this is the prison cell area from the last chapter, no? But they're all being lit out? Oh my god, this is eerie. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, that place on the left is definitely the, uh... Whoa. Alright, Slow Selena's back in action. She's definitely not dead, she was just hiding in her shell. Ah, yep. The bowling pins. Everyone is being released. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's a beak up. Oh, we got the pillars. And my boy Jumbo Josh with his green leathery arms. Okay. Alright. Are we gonna get a date? No? Just Garden of Bun Bun 6? You gotta give me more than- My fight is not- Hold on a second. What did that just say? My fight is not with you. My fight is- What's the other words? What does that say? No! This is your- only warning. Okay, alright, interesting, interesting. Okay, so the trailer's got a bit of a story coming together for chapter 6. And I honestly wasn't expecting that post credit scene, I thought they were just gonna give us a release date. But like I promised, before we get into that, I have to explain where I've been for the last two months. I know I don't usually get personal, but here we go. Just over two months ago, I finally quit my job. I was actually an architect. But you know, that passion for indie horror just got in the way and made this channel. And as we slowly approach 1 million, oh I took the leap of faith and quit my job. So now you guys got me full time on here. But after getting my bachelor's degree, my master's degree, and working a full-time job for so long, I've never actually had a holiday. So since I was in a silly, goofy mood, I chose to take a long holiday right before this venture starts. So no, I didn't quit. I was just traveling around Europe for two months, and I'm so lucky nothing even released while nice. I was gone. So now I'm back and ready to take over. Anyway, on to the trailer. It's clearly taking setting in that infirmary area from the previous chapter. You know, where Sheriff Toadster put all of them in a prison cell. Does that mean our old friends are gonna haunt us in the new chapter. What isn't really clear is who's actually letting them out of their cells. I thought it might be Stinger Flynn because he's got those telekinesis powers, but as we saw at the end of the chapter, he's coming down with us. And he's kind of knocked out. On top of that, we've also got the thumbnail. It kind of looks like to me that they're quite pissed and they're after us. I have a feeling they're gonna blame us for being in prison. So does that mean the new chapter isn't necessarily gonna have a whole bunch of new mascots, but the old ones coming back for revenge? Especially because we're buddy-buddy with the sheriff, they might blame us for being imprisoned as well. I also really like how badass they all look when they're escaping. Celine just absolutely bolts out of there. Banbelina looks like she just beat up those bullies and rolled them out. Papila still holds the record for being the scariest bird in gaming history. But I have a feeling this thing that we're gonna see in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 is gonna be a little bit scarier, but anyway. And we've got Jumbo Josh with the big hands coming out of those pipes. Also, can we re-acknowledge how bloody strong Jumbo Josh is? He must be inspired by all these YouTubers getting in boxing fights. But anyway, we don't actually get a release date, which is a little bit annoying, but they consistently follow trends and that usually means that the full trailer is going to come out eventually, maybe in the next couple of weeks. And on top of that we got a secret at the end, a Marvel post credit scene if you will. And it's not the first time that we've seen this sort of message. I obviously went away on my vacation so I couldn't make a video about it, but Garten of Banban 4 had an ARG level secret inside of it. If you found all of the secret barcodes throughout the game, translated those barcodes into letters, you eventually got a YouTube URL, which took you to an unlisted video. And in that video a mysterious entity communicates with us. Now, there's a bunch of theories on what that entity is. And to be honest with you, I'm not fully convinced which one it is either. But the best guess I've seen so far is that it's the naughty ones. Those things or whatever that are in Queen Bouncelia's pouch. That escape at the end of the game. It starts off saying, so you are my savior. I personally don't remember saving anyone
unintentionally in the previous chapter. Then it says my friends and I will soon escape from our prison. Maybe this scene right here was just the magical seal being ripped off. Because in the first teaser trailer we see that there's something still inside of her pouch. And that's what's being referenced here about soon escaping because they're not all out yet. And there will be chaos. I mean if you want chaos you just let the prisoners out their cells, right? But here's where things get weird. Get out of this place while you still can. Why are we receiving a friendly warning? Who cares about us? Whatever it is it could just be trying to repay us for letting it out. I don't know. And then that message again. My fight is not with you. This is your only warning. And then it suddenly ends. And there's one big thing that we're missing out on. What the hell is the deal with chapter 5 and this fat headed guy? Him just being able to lean around a corner like that is defying physics. Maybe the euphoric bros just got really inspired by that hoax of those aliens. Or maybe this is what it looks like when a child takes a chug jug worth of javanium and swallows it down. I'm really hoping this is our child and at the end of the game we get a choice whether we want to take him back or not. Because you already know what my answer is. No. Oh and I totally forgot to plug something big. I'm working on a really cool secret project. But there's a hint of what it is on my channel. See if you can find it. And make sure to subscribe. Bye.